Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to edit your glance list on your Garmin Instinct crossover watch. I'm using the solar version, it shouldn't matter whether you've got the solar or non-solar version. This video should work the same for everybody. I'll also say I'm showing you how to do it on the watch. The easiest way to do this is on your Garmin Connect app on your cell phone and then simply sync the changes over to your watch and it'll make those changes for you. So what are we talking about when we talk about glance list? This is your watch face and then you've got glances you can go into to show you uh, additional data or other things that are not available as data fields on the watch face. The way you get to your glance list is you simply press the up or down button on the watch. When you go into it, you can see your list of glances. So I've got solar intensity, I've got sunrise, uh, sunset information, I've got my activities, I've got step tracking, so on and so forth. But when you get in here, you might realize that some of these things you don't really care about, or maybe you want to find additional things and add them to your list. The way you're going to edit it is you're basically going to go to the bottom of the list and you're going to choose edit by pressing GPS. Once you're on the editor, it kind of looks the same as what we saw before, but you're going to see a little icon out here to the side, which is basically showing you that you can edit it. So for example, last sport I'm not interested in, while I'm on it, I'm going to press the GPS button and you'll see that now I have a little X here. I can basically press GPS again and I have removed that item from my glance list. I'll go down again, let's do another one. Again, you can see the editor, press GPS, changes to an X. Now what if I don't want to delete it? What if I just simply want to move it in the list? You'll also see there's an up and down arrow where I could say, look, I want to put body battery at the top of my list, press GPS, and I've done that. I can go down and rearrange. Maybe I want to put steps second, press GPS to choose steps, use the up or down button, and I'm going to move it right underneath body battery. So now I've put things in order. Again, if I wanted to remove something, for example, heart rate, I'm going to remove it. I'm going to press GPS while I'm on that given item and I'm in the editor. I can again press GPS and I've successfully removed it. Now don't worry about removing them. All it really does is remove it from your glance list. It doesn't remove it from the watch. So you can always go add it back. So at a later point, if I decided I wanted to, let me just go back. So now when we go into my glance list, I've got body battery first. You'll notice that mine's disabled because I have heart rate uh, monitoring off, which is going to also disable the body battery. I've got step second because we just uh, organized it that way. If I decided, hey, I removed heart rate, I want to put it back in, or maybe I want to go find something else to add to my glance list, again, we're going to go to the bottom of the list, either using the up or down button. We're going to go back into the editor, but this time we're going to press up and go to the bottom, and you're going to see an option for add. I'm going to press GPS to add, and I can see all of the different things that are on the watch that I can add to my glance list. And I'm going to go through, I'll go all the way to the bottom just to show you all of your options. You can also go out to the Garmin Connect IQ app and download additional glances. But in this example, we decided we wanted to put heart rate back in our glance list. They are alphabetical, so all we're going to do is find heart rate. You can see the little add icon to the side of it. I'm going to press GPS, and I've successfully added it back to my list. I'm going to go ahead and press the back button. I can see that it's there. If I wanted to move it up again, I can press GPS, and now we've got our icons that we saw before, and I can move it to wherever I want to in my list. Press GPS, and we've successfully added it back. Again, once you've got your glances set, you can press the back button a couple of times, get back to the main watch face, and then you can just use the up or down button to go into your glances. The idea here is you want to organize it to where you're not having to go through all of these things that you're not using. When you go into your glances, you're only seeing the items that you actually care about on the watch. Again, you can do this on the Garmin Connect app on your cell phone. It's a little bit easier, but if you want to do it on the watch, that's how you do it. I hope the video helps.